All right guys, on today's YouTube video, I'm actually gonna be going over one of my favorite pieces of gear from 2020. Vortex Diamondback and a, the 8x32s is kind of going to be what this video is all about. Uh, I picked these up right before season, like August, September time frame. So I've been able to put them through a hunting season, a little bit of late summer scouting. And now that we're in shed season, I find myself taking these all the time uh, as well. And, and that's something I picked up from Jake Bush, who's really big on taking binos for sheds uh, just to save you some, some walking, uh, especially in the timber. But Kind of getting to this video, these are a very budget friendly bino as far as price performance level. You know, on the website, they're like 230 to 270, but you can pick these up um, on sale for like 150 to 175. I got mine on uh, Midway USA for about 180 bucks. And I did pull out the statistics as far as the size difference, um, which is a huge. I don't know, I didn't think I would notice it, but it is substantial as far as the difference in size from the 10 by 42s, which are a very popular model to the eight by 32s. And uh, one thing to note is there's actually not a super big difference in weight. These are like 20, hold on, let me get my cheat sheet here. These are like 21 ounces, the 10 by 42s. And these guys are 15.9 are ounces. Uh, so so not like a tremendous amount of weight savings, but as far as packability, I do feel like it, it It's kind of substantial as far as this was just to kind of make my pack smaller uh, Obviously the Vortex redid the model. Oh, they, they gave me the HD name I think two years ago when they redid the whole lineup and I thought it was kind of smoke and mirrors and marketing if you will but me and a few of the guys have sat here with the older model uh, 10 by 32s and the new HD glass and we can see a difference and we try to not believe that difference but the crispiness on the outside of the reticle is definitely there these just tend to pick up a touch more uh, crispiness on the outside of the, the the glass and that's an area that you can really tell good glass from okay glass if, if you uh, if you listen to a lot of the western guys wanted to mention about the binos as far as low light ability i find that they can see better than my eyes can as far as if i have a buck come in oh right at gray light or a deer and i want to be able to see if it's buck or doe or how many points those binos do allow me to do that um, at the diamondback price point now the guys going out west i can't speak to glassing a lot of animals i want to say oh 200 plus yards but um here in Ohio, in the timber country, in the farmland that I hunt, and I do a decent amount of glassing in the summer. Uh, those binos have performed awesome for me from a, a quality perspective. I can I can gauge if the animal is oh, of the caliber, let's say if he's 130 or if he's 100 inches. I can definitely do that uh, with those binos. I don't live behind the glass by any means, uh, but I think that's important in pointing out the size. I literally am lugging something around that I don't spend a ton of time using but when i use it it's a very valuable tool but this uh is, as far as packability it's awesome these are literally like four and a half inches by like 4.1 inches so they're super tight and compact and because they're so tiny they're easy to jam in the backpack and take with you with the vortex warranty dude i just throw these in the pack uh with a little like uh the harness system guy i, I rock this for shed season not a huge fan of it for bow hunting but for sheds i definitely take them here uh, but yeah, like I said, worth the money, the warranty alone, you can run this over with your truck, send them in and get a new pair. Uh, Vortex is obviously known for that. Uh, but love this glass and would recommend it to anyone. I think the 10x42s are a better do-all bino from Archery 3D. That's when I bought these when I was shooting a lot of 3D. And, um, but if I was a bow hunter, Midwest, I'm only gonna buy one pair of binos. I don't live and die in bean fields. I'm gonna tell the guy, get the eight by 32s because they just so much easier to lug around. Uh, part of uh, bow hunting or, or whatever, you're more likely to take something if it's easy, if it's small, if it's tight and compact. Plus, these also fit in the uh, glove box of a truck and take up way less room. 
Guys, we are also giving away some XOP mini sticks uh, April 15th on our Patreon account. We're also gonna throw some podcasts solo to Patreon and probably some YouTube videos as well. So if you're interested in, in jumping on that platform, by all means, hit us up, Patreon, Google Whitetail Experience in there, you'll find us. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. Team Harder and Bucks, we're out.